Good morning, your fitness first community. Hope you're all okay this morning. Um, thought we'd go ahead with the live this morning and try and lift your mood, help everybody get through the day. Um, we're going to do a small weight workout. So I've only got my little weights. It's going to be two kilograms. You don't want much heavier because we're going to do 40 seconds of work, um, 20 seconds rest. So it's going to be a uh, continuous again. Morning if you're joining me live. Um, I'm just saying we're doing a four weight workout, four body weight workout. We're doing small weights. You don't want much bigger because we're doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We've got eight exercises. Again, it's going to be 25 minutes long. So it's going to be a tough one. Um, but it'll really work that body, help tone up, help, um, help you feel good. So we're going to get going in a minute. We're going to grab your water. Make sure you've got some water with you. We're always going to be one floor exercise, but it's going to be like in a plank position. So you don't necessarily do a mat unless you want to for your knees. If you're going to be on your knees in the plank, um, it's going to be the renegade row. So you're pulling back either arm and in plank position. But that's the very last exercise. Um, the rest of them are all going to be standing. So we're going to get going. Um, we're going to start doing a little workout, a little warm up. Let's work out. So we're just going to start marching on the spot. Let's get the arms going, let's get the legs going. Let's get warmed up. Get our body working, woken up, ready for the day. And let's just do a little stretch back. So a little full lunge for stretching back the leg. Working those hip flexors, waking up the muscles of the legs. We've got a few squats, we've got heel kicks. We've got some arm movements, we've got some lunges. A bit of stepping side to side, knee ups, and uh, a little bit of snatch, which is a bent over and pull up. But I'll show you all the exercises before. Um, like I say, it's eight exercises. We're going to do three rounds and back to marching. Um, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Just add a little bit of a twist in there. Never so slightly, nothing major. Just want to wake that body up, working it. That's it. Nice and gentle. Warming up all the joints, twisting, warming up the back. That's it. Good stuff. We're just going to do a little bend over toe touch. So down to the toe, back up, and twisting around. Nice and steady. Nice and slow. Nothing. Lost. Don't know why that was. And that's it. Back down. Just twisting from side to side. Oh. One more either side. And that's it. Let's get back to march on the spot. Lifting those knees a little bit higher. That's it. I'm just going to do a little kick out. A nice little kick out. Warming up the glutes, warming up the hamstrings as high as you can. Don't pull anything. Nice and steady. Hold it on. We'll get into this workout in a minute. Like I say, it's 25 minutes work. Uh, 40 seconds each exercise, 20 seconds rest. One more either side, I'm just going to do a little squat after this. So we're going to go down nice and slow oh, and back up. Waking up those joints, keeping the heels down. Lift your toes up if you can, just to make sure you're not protruding those knees over your toes. <coughs> and one more. And that's it. So we're going to get ready. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Well, once we start the clock, 10 seconds. Grab your little weights. We're going to start with a squat. We're going to start with a squat and press. 40 seconds. Down, squat and press. So dumbbells up on your shoulders. Squat down and press up as you come back up. So set the timer. We're going in 10 seconds. Let's get this workout done. Come on. Let's finish the week off strong. Three, two, one. And good work. Hand up. Keep breathing. Deep breaths as you go down. Exhale as you come up. That's it. Up and down. It's 30, 30 seconds left. Only small weights. But I tell you what, by the end of this workout, they'll feel like big weights. That's it. You can do this with your own body weight. 
You don't have to use any weights if you don't want to. It'll still be just as good. Oh, that's it. Almost there. Five seconds. Two. One. And rest. I'll show you the next exercises. You can keep walking on the spot if you want. Or you can just shake the legs and rest off. We're going for the reverse fly. And heel kick. So side to side. And just putting your arms out. The side. Three, two, one, let's go. So heel kick and reverse fly. Keep the core engaged. It's a full body workout this. Really working the core, working the arms. If at any time your arms get a bit heavy, just shake them off and get back into it as soon as you can. That's it. It's a nice steady workout this one. Keep breathing. It's a warm one this morning again. That's it, you know, it's been raining again, but it's still quite humid. It's not fully broken, this humidity. Five seconds left. That's it. And rest. And this one's a bit of a funny one, so we'll come a bit closer. You're going to do L raise. So you go one arm front and one arm to the side, and then swap to the other arm. So it's one arm forward, one arm to the side. So it's just swapping from side to side. Big coordination needs here. So let's go, three, two, one. One out to the side, one in front. Up and down. Straight arms, core engaged. Working the shoulders, this is. That's it, nice. Steady motion, no swinging. Keep control of those weights. Let the arms do the work, especially on the, going down. You need to work the arms, help some tone up. Build strength, that's it, the shoulders, good work, 10 seconds left, four, three, two, one, and rest, shake those arms off, those shoulders will be burning now, right, the next one we've got a lunge, so a forward lunge, and we're going to do a bicep curl just there, so alternating lunge and bicep curl. We're going to go in five seconds. Like I say, it's continuous this is again. But it's a good workout for your full body again. And let's go. Down, bicep curl. Core engaged, keep your balance. Looking, focusing in one place. Down, and bicep curl. Really give it a little squeeze as you come up. Just contract those biceps. Really work the arms. That's it. 20 seconds left. My knees are cracking, <laughs> feel like the popping. <laughs> oh dear, getting old, Ricky. We do some more yoga. That's it. Keep going. Keep working. Two and one. Well done. Good work. This one. We're doing a step to the side and push and pull. So what we're doing is stepping. We're not kicking heels, we're just stepping from side to side and pushing and pull again. It's going to be another tough one on the shoulders. Three, two, one. So stepping and pushing and pull. Keep the core engaged again. Pull them back, push forward. That's a total different dimension with the weights in your hand. Really does work the body. Work the arms, work the shoulders. That's it. Nice stepping movements. Pushing and pulling back and forward. That's good work. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. Shake those arms off. Oh. Right, so we've got the knee up. So we're going to do what we did the other day, but instead of doing four knees, we're just going up and down. So up with the hands and down. Holding your weights like this in front of you. Going up and down. So we're only going shoulder high. We're not going too high. Let's go. Bigger the knee up. Either side. It's working. Again, it's working those shoulders. It's working those chest muscles. Keep your core engaged. That's it. Nice and steady motion. We're almost at the end of round two. We've got two exercises left after this. That's it. Keep working. Really is a good one for helping tone up the body. 
losing weight, making you feel good. Go on, keep pushing, 10 seconds to go. That's it, I'm almost there. Three, two, and one. This one, you're only gonna need one dumbbell for. So put one to the side, we're gonna do a snatch. So you're bringing the dumbbell up overhead, so bending down, slight bend in the legs, keep the back straight, core engaged, and we're coming up. We're gonna do 40 seconds on one arm, 40 seconds on the other arm next time, and then we'll swap on the last round. Go down, and just bringing the dumbbell straight up. Full range of motion, really keep the core engaged. Don't bend down too much, it's more of a squat, like a squat, and pulling your arm up. So it's using that power. It's a power move, this one. It really is a good move. That's it. Good with light weights to learn the movements. And then you can pick up heavier weights when you feel like it. And really push yourself there. Well, this morning we're doing the light weights. Come on, five seconds left. Two. And one. Good work. Now this last one, we're down in the renegade row. So we're in a plank position. So we're down on the floor. Plank position. Or you can go for your knees. And we're pulling in to the side. This is the last exercise of the round. 40 seconds. So I'm going to go full plank. Or you can go for your knees, wherever you want. Let's go. Up. Core engaged. Bum down if you're in a plank position. Nice. Solid base. Really working the full body. That's it. Good work. Keeping, if the body's wobbling, just spread your legs a little bit further. Just so it gives you more balance, stability. The closer we are together, the more you're using the core. But if you're a bit wobbly, doesn't matter. Better about stability, not putting pressure on your back too much. Almost there. Last exercise of this first round. We've got 45 seconds rest. And rest. Good work. Grab yourself a drink. We've got 45 seconds rest. One round down. Let's do this. Two more rounds to go. Shake those arms off. Shake those legs off. So if you're joining me live, brilliant. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, we're going to go for the squat and press again. Squat down, press up. We've got 20 seconds, so... Get that recovery in, grab yourself a drink, and let's pick the weights back up. We're going in 10 seconds. Round two coming up, come on. Let's do it. Five seconds. Two and one. Arms up, squat, and press. Good work. And if you can, speed up a little bit this round. Or you can just do what you need to do. That's it, it's you against you. But also try and push yourself. If you want to be a little bit out of breath, working the full body, getting a little bit of cardio in there as well, helping that heart get stronger. That's it, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one, good work. Second exercise, round two. We're doing heel kicks, reverse fly. Oh, my shoulders aren't going to thank me after this. <laughs> this is going to hurt. But come on, let's do it. Three, two, one. So heel kick, reverse fly. Core engaged, full body working. Legs working, arms working, core working. Come on. That's it. Deep breaths, keep breathing. Nice movements. Oh, good work. Almost there. Go on, keep going. Keep pushing. Run round two now. You can speed it up a little bit. Speed it up. That's it. Five seconds left. Two and one, good work, well done. We've got the L raises, so we're going up, one to the front, one to the side. Coordination on this one, gets you thinking, is that brain awake yet? Mine's not fully, but I'll get there after this, definitely. Three, two, 
One, let's go. Up and up. So front, front, one to the side. Nice and controlled. We don't want to be swinging like that. That's not doing nothing for anybody. Controlled movements. Really helping tone up the muscles. Building strength. Losing fat. Really working the body. That's it. Really does help tone up these arms. This does in these shoulders. And the core, if you engage in the core at the same time, which you should be. That's it. Good work. Nice. Steady movement. Three, two, one. Oh. That one up there in the shoulders. Got another one end to come. Third round. We're going for the lunge and the bicep curl now. So again, keep the core engaged, really work the body. We're lunging down, bicep curl up. We're going in five seconds, alternating legs. Let's do it, three, two, one. Down, squeeze those biceps. And again, that's it. Oh, my knees are cracking. <laughs> Need some cod liver oil or something. Wow, that's it. Good work. Keep going, squeeze those bicep curls at the top and working the core, working the legs. That's it, get the knee as low as you can, the back knee as you come forward. Good work. Five seconds left, almost there. Halfway through round two and rest. Good work. We got the step and push and pull again. Just stepping from side to side. Not heel kicking, and shin goes arms off. We're just stepping from side to side. Sweaty hands, slippy weights, broken toes, not good. And let's go. Side to side, just stepping. Like I say, it's the second round, let's speed up if you can. Push and pull, brilliant. Core engaged, arms going forward and backward from the side. That's what you're looking at. And you fall out and pull him back. That's it. Push and pull motion. Stepping sides to side. That's it. Keep the core engaged. Ten seconds left. Come on. Let's keep going. Two and one. Good work, everybody. We've got the knee ups. So knee up, hands to the side. We're halfway through round two, four exercises to go on the second round. Let's do it, come on. Let's keep going. Three, two, one, and work. Hand up. That's it. Keep the core engaged. Working those arms up, working the knees up and down. That's it. Control movement. So, again, we don't want to be swinging those arms. It's all controlled. Keep that core engaged so it protects the lower back. That's it. Up and down. Up and down. That's it. Keep going. Keep working. Keep breathing. Well done. Almost there. Side to side. Three, two, one. And good work. We're going for the second side at the snatch now. So you do your right hand first, you do your left hand. So you bent over. And we're going to power up move. We're really bringing up, we're not bent over, we're not hunching. We're all controlled, legs, arms, everything. Three, two, one. And let's go down and power up. Really, again, engage the core. Protect that lower back. Working the full body. Just a snatch up. It's like using the weights and you're pulling up and you're gonna throw it through the ceiling. But don't, don't let go. <laughs> That's it. You know your hands are a little bit sweaty. And the last round, we'll do 20 seconds on one side and 20 seconds on the other side of these. Keep going, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, great work. We're on the last exercise, round two. We're down to the renegade row. So again, plank position from your knees. Like that, or full plank. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to do a full plank. We're going in three, 
two, one, arms underneath your shoulders, pulling back, core engaged, working the full body, bum down. So you're not putting your bum in your air, in, in your air, in the air. <laughs> oh dear, it's Friday morning. That's it, keep working. Oh, really working that core. That's it, pulling those arms back. Nice control movements, pushing from side to side. 10 seconds, we're almost there. Uh, two and one. Oh, 45 seconds rest. Good work, we're on round two done. One to go, come on. Let's finish strong. Just under eight minutes left of work to do. Grab yourself a drink. Coming back for the squat and press. Shake those arms off. Okay, we're circulating, get that blood going again. Legs shaking off, we're going in 15 seconds. Squat and press. Look down and up. Last round. Come on, let's finish strong, let's go. Five seconds. Two, one. And squat and press. Good work. Straight in. So it's a full body weight workout, but it's also a cardio workout this. So you're working every part of your body. Absolutely fantastic workout. Oh, that's it. Keep going. Keep working. We're on the last round. Let's power through. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and one, good work. We're doing the heel kick flies for the last time, come on. Let's speed up, we're doing that. Heel kicks, reverse fly, 10 seconds we're going. Come on, let's do this. If you've got a little bit more in your tank, put a little bit more in, come on. And uh, let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Good work. That's it. Keep going. Well done. Last round. The arms are going to be aching. Your legs are going to be aching. This is where you build your mental and physical strength. Really dig deep. Think about the focus on the gains. That's it. Talk about the benefit this workout is going to do for your body. Deep breaths. Keep going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Now, now this one's the L raiser again. So you're going out to side, one in front. Leg, shoulder width apart. Core engaged. Really working those shoulders. This one's going to burn. It's the last round on this one. But it is going to burn. Three, two, one. Even with light weights, as long as you're doing controlled movements and not swinging them, you will feel the benefit. I promise you that. Even I can feel these. And I lift heavier weights in this usually. That's it. I always say there's no such thing as a bad workout. Only one that's not done. That's it. Keep going, we're almost there. The arms are burning. Keep that control though. Deep breaths, get that oxygen back going to your blood, to your muscles. And rest. Oh, that's the last time on that one. Good work. We're going back for the lunge and bicep curl. So again, when you're in the bicep curl, squeeze that last little bit there. Just squeeze, contract those muscles. Really make them work. We're going five seconds. So alternating lunge. And bicep curl. Three, two, one, let's go. Ooh, that's it. That's it. Oh, good, it's like final round of my knees. I stopped cracking. I must have warmed up a bit now. <laughs> that's, oh no, it's back. There we go, keep going. Bicep curl. Lunge, bicep curl. Core engaged, full body working. That's it. Great work, go on, keep pushing through. Almost there, 10 seconds. Go on. 
Great work. Two, one. Oh, that's the last of them. I just got to wipe your hands and get sweaty now. We've got the step and press. So we're pressing forward, pulling back. We're just stepping side to side. Let's have a shoulder burner if you haven't doing this to us. <laughs> we're in it together. Three, two, one, let's go. Step to the side, push and pull. Good work. That's it. Pushing and pulling. Working that body. Deep breaths. Good work, everybody. Keep going. Keep working. 20 seconds. Last round. Come on, we're on the last four exercises now. We're almost there. We've got just over three minutes left of work. 10 seconds. Go on. Keep going. Push and pull. Step to side to side. Two and one. Good work. We're on the knee up again for the last time. So bring your knee up. Control those arms out. It's all control from the core. The arms really working. The legs working. Last round. Come on. Three exercises to go. Three, two, one. And knee up, hands down. That's it. That's it. Continuous work. As fast as you can. If you want to speed up, let's do it. You can go faster if you can. But again, don't let that posture go. Keep the core engaged. Working your whole body. Come on. 20 seconds to go. Push through. Let's do it. I've got sweat dripping in my eye. That stings, that does. <laughs> go on. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work. Again, chuck one weight out of the way. This time I'm going to do 20 seconds on one half, one arm. Doing the snatches. 20 seconds on the second arm. I'll tell you when to swap, if I remember, now I'll remember. <laughs> so bent over and pulling up with the weight. Three, two, one, let's go. Up, 20 seconds, power move. Let's go. Working the whole body again. Core engaged, working those legs, working the arms, lower back. We're almost there. And swap in five seconds. Three, two, and swap, swap the around, now. second side, that's it, and go again, as fast as you can, it's you against you, pushing through, we've got one exercise left after this, and then we are done, great work, go on, keep pushing, three, two, one, good work, we're down on the ground for the, the renegade row, again, from your knees, Keep your bum down, nice strong core foundation, pulling back or full plank position. We're going in three seconds, two, one, and arms underneath your shoulders, pulling back like a little piston, that's it. Really holding that core, stability, really working those arms. This is a full body move again. You're holding your core nice and tight by the end of this 40 seconds. You should be trembling. You should feel it working. We're almost there. I've got 15 seconds to go. One. 10 seconds. Last little bit of work. Go push through. Well done. Five. Come on. Three. Two. One. And. Wow. Good work, everybody. Fantastic. Hope you enjoyed that workout. That is a full body weights workout. You'll feel the benefit of that everywhere. Your chest, your shoulders, your arms, your legs, your core, your back, everywhere. Oh. Again, thank you very much if you're joining me live. Hope you enjoyed it. If you catch up in the replay, again, hope you enjoyed it. We're going to finish off with some stretches. Wipe the sweat from my eye, because that stings. <laughs> right. Finish off with some stretches, get those arms and legs just shaking off, get that blood flowing back to the body nicely. Do a few shoulder stretches. That's it. 
Right, let's stand still now, you can just shake the legs if you need to. We're going to pull the arm across, push on the fleshy part of the body, on the arm in between the triceps and the bicep. Stretch across, turn your head to the side, just give the deeper stretch across that shoulder, into the back. Take some deep breaths, slow your breathing down. Good work. Swap over when you're ready. Do the other side, second side. Again, turn your head once you're in position. Nice deep breaths. Good work, good work. Now put your hands in the small of your back. Push those shoulder blades together. Push the chest forward and put your head back. Nice stretch across the chest. Really does help the shoulders again. Chest. These stretches are so important. Really help your muscles after the workout. Just as important as a warm up. Oh, that's it. Lovely stretch that one. Especially if you sat down all day typing. It just opens up those shoulders. Just going to stretch the quads. We're almost done. Pull back the quads, push the legs together, pull and feel it right down the hip flexor into groin joint and then down your quads. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something, get your balance. Or hop like I do. <laughs> That's it. And shake it off and we'll go for the second side. Again, grab the foot, pull it back. Once you've got your balance, put your leg in. So your knees are almost touching as close as you can. You really feel it down the quads. Good work. So I hope you enjoyed that workout. Um, I'll be back on Monday morning for another workout. Um, at the same time, 6.15. We're gonna do a nice hamstring stretch. So this front leg bent, back leg straight, flex your foot back towards you, keep your back straight, reach down as far as you can. Nice and gentle, reaching down. You can only get to your shin, just go as far as you can. Take a few deep breaths. Stretch those hamstrings. Really important, like I say, part of the workout this. And then the other side, so again, slight bend in the leg, pulling back. Really working that body, working the leg, sorry. Stretching the hamstring. Reaching down as far as you can. When I first started this, I was up here. Now, I can touch underneath my foot, but that's from yoga as well. Oh, and that's it. Good work, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that workout. Enjoy your Friday. It's Feel Good Friday. Hope you have a good day, even though we'll be a somber mood around due to the events of last night. But try and be up to as positive as you can. She lived a good life. Uh, rest, God rest her soul, the Queen. Um, but yes, have a good weekend everybody and I shall see you Monday morning. Take care, speak soon. Bye bye.